Uh, probably our biggest expectation is, is to get be is to get better. Coming off last year, um, not gonna lie, it was definitely a disappointment. Um, we anticipated being a better football team than we were, so our, our goal now is to be a lot better than we were last year. Uh, obviously, our ultimate goal is to become a playoff team in a hurry, and uh, that's what we're striving for. Oh, well, at the end of last season, we we really did a, a, a strong overview of the program. Um, Coach Cole and myself, we uh, you know we worked really hard on on a year end report and and collected a lot of data and look where we were as an offense, defense, and special teams and what we were doing coaching wise. Uh, one of the first things we wanted to do was revamp our coaching staff, make a couple of tweaks here and there, bring in some uh, a little more expertise uh, to complement myself and Coach Como. Uh, you know, one of the things we spoke about um, when we revamped the coaching staff and brought them in and, and talking with our leadership group and with the freshmen coming in this year, probably our strongest message is that we wanted to do things right, uh, do it the right way. Uh, you know, we're focused, my focus, I was brought here to build a program. Uh, you know, one of the reasons I took this job is, is I felt I could, with a lot of help, we could turn this program into a champion. And uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not focusing on making the playoffs. It's making uh, a, a strong program that's going to continuously year after year compete for championships. And, and that's what we're looking to do here. Strength of the team, I still think, um, regardless of the losses on offense, I still think offensively. Um, that's that's where the core of the team is. Our offensive line is outstanding. Coach Como has done a tremendous job with that. Um, you know, we've been really surprised uh, with the four kids we have at quarterback. It's been a very, very tight competition and uh, we've had two kids really separate from the rest of the pack and uh, we don't we, I really don't think we're gonna miss a beat you know it's it's always hard to lose a kid like Miles Gibbons but you know when you can you can when you can replace a fifth year quarterback with a first year quarterback that's been here for four years uh, I think that's a good thing well uh, Nico Stamatis who was uh, part of my very first recruiting class here uh, from Chaminade High School uh, in, in right in the heart of Toronto, um, you know, really has stepped up. Uh, he's taken a leadership role in spring, um, you know, organized a lot of throw arounds with receivers this summer, took initiative on himself, and uh, he's really worked hard in this off season um, in preparation to be the number one quarterback. And you know what, it, it's happened, all his hard work has paid off, and he's really separated, him from, separated himself from the rest of the pack. When we recruited Nico, we, we knew we were getting a great kid. You know, this is a kid that was a high school all-star, this is a kid that was an OVFL all-star, led the OVFL in passing, which is a very competitive um, junior football league. And uh, we knew what we were getting, and to finally see Nico, you know, I know it's taken four years, but to finally see Nico, you know, step up and be our guy, we're, we're pretty excited to have that happen. And uh, young man we recruited two years ago, Eric Kimmerly, who, who's an unbelievable athlete, um, you know, is, has, has jumped from number four right up into number two. And uh, he's done it with leadership, he's done it with discipline, he's done it with poise, he's definitely done it by, by being an athlete. And uh, they're two different quarterbacking styles. We have Nico that's a pocket passer, and we have Eric that's just a phenomenal athlete that, that is, might be a little more Miles Gibbonish. But uh, those two have definitely separated themselves, and uh, I'm excited to, to what game day is going to hold for those two. Our receivers, uh, very talented group. Uh, again, another strong, one of our strongest points in recruitment this year. Uh, for, you know, to to offset some some core uh, senior players on the team like Devonte Hobbs, who's uh, we're expecting expecting tremendous things from Devonte this year. Um, you know, we have a couple of young kids, the Joey Ricketone from the Hammer. Um, who's who's just been dynamite from the second he stepped on this field? It's unbelievable to think this kid was playing high school last year. He looks like a he looks like a veteran CIS player out there. Um, as a group, they're they might be after the O line our most solid position, and they're definitely very dynamic. Running backs, um, you know, to have Connor Anderson healthy, we're pretty excited about that. I'm not gonna lie, uh, you know, from he's. From spring, he had a very good spring, and from what he's done to his body, and from from spring till now, it is unbelievable. He's really worked hard. He wanted to be the workhorse for this football team. Um, you know, he he got injured last year, and he played injured, and I don't think we saw the true Connor Anderson, but we're seeing it right now. And uh, you know, as far as the run game goes, he's a guy that's going to carry us into the end zone. 
we have some very, very talented young men uh, on, the, on that offensive line. Uh, Trevor King, our big recruit from Regina, Saskatchewan last year. We've moved him to guard. Again, he played injured most of last year, and he's looking, he's looking like the kid we recruited. Uh, right next to him at center, Chris Kolinkowski. Um, as you know, I, I've been on this kid since we got him that uh, I was gonna go out and recruit and bring someone better than he is. And he's taken that personally, and he's worked his butt off. He's one of the strongest kids on the team, and he's become a leader, and he's become one of the best football players on our offensive line. Uh, we have uh, two young men that are probably gonna start as freshmen for us at offensive tackle. Jamal Campbell, a convert from defensive line, um, brings aggression to that left tackle spot, that defensive mentality to the offensive line. And uh, another young man that we've had for three years, Chris Smith, that uh, we know uh, both those tackles, we, we're pretty sure they're both gonna have CFL careers. Not only reeling from the loss of James Tuck to the Montreal Alouettes, but uh, very proud of our boy Jimmy. Uh, you know, and the loss of Jamal Campbell. We moved Jamal Campbell from our, our three tech to play offensive line, which is going to help the team out. Um, that's made way for, for for a young man to step up and be a leader of that offensive line. It's the kid we recruited last year from Barry Bear Creek High School, Cole Austin. We call him Stone Cole Steve Austin. And uh, he is just, he is, we knew, we knew what we were getting when we recruited that kid. It was one of the happiest days of my life when he decided he was going to come to New York. And uh, every snap of this training camp, you know, I, I'm just, I, I couldn't be more proud of that kid. And I know he's going to lead this line for the next four years in, into greatness. Linebackers are, uh, are, are a veteran corps, uh, led by a fifth year player, Hussein Hazimi. Um, Michael Ranowski is going into his third year. Uh, Emerson Morissuti is going into his fourth year. Um, we definitely have some leadership there. Uh, we got a couple of young kids behind them that are that are going to push. A uh, young man uh, um, from Brampton, uh, Kobina Toku. Uh, you know, he was he was a kid we recruited hard. He's a very athletic and strong linebacker that's uh, going to be pushing the three of them very hard. And we're excited to see a little more of that competition. I have a pretty strong leader uh, in a uh, young man by the name of Josh Small, who was a big recruit for us three years. Uh, he's playing a new position this year. We moved him to the corner to free safety, and uh, he's just been dynamite. He's been playing safety for five days for us now, and he looks like he's been doing it for years. Uh, you know, Josh, since he got here, even as a freshman, has been the heart and soul of that secondary, and I don't think anything's going to change. Uh, you know, we have a, a couple of seniors, a kid in his fifth year, a kid in his fourth year, that are that are going to help us out a lot. Scott Noivo and uh, Aaron, Am Aaron, not Emerson, Braden Cameron. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to bring some leadership and some some much needed uh, age to a very young group. But oh boy, did we bring in some some studs at defensive back. Uh, we got a young man from Edmonton, Alberta, Sherwood Park, uh, Reese Patterson, 2012 gold medalist with Team Canada. Um, came in here as the fastest, as a freshman, is now the fastest kid on the York Lions football team. And we're expecting greatness from Reese. He's already our starting boundary corner and uh, we're, we're, we're pretty excited for that. We've also got a couple other, uh, couple other great young kids. Uh, Ian Lawrence from Brantford, um, Khalil Douglas from Brampton, and uh, Brett Colangelo from Halton. Uh, all these kids are pushing, pushing, pushing to be starters. And you know what? We are very, very athletic at that position and it's something I'm very excited about. You know, maybe our most valuable player, Nick Naylor, um, Typical crazy kicker, but he's a great kid and uh, he can kick the heck out of a football. Uh, he's going to give us some great field position. Uh, you know, we're not going to be we're not going to be scared anymore to kick the ball out of our own end because we know with that young man, his leg, he's going to get us some field position, and we're very excited. I, I, I'm confident we're going to get an OUA All Star out of that young man. Simple, they got to compete. If you know, we have the ability, we have the talent, but it's about competing and competition. And if we don't. If we don't come out with that fire in our belly and want to compete and win every single battle, the one-on-one -on -one battles, it's not going to change. And until that changes, you know, that's what's going to lead us to greatness, the fire in the belly and competing on every snap.